Hi, what's going on? My name is Anand. In this video, I'm going to show you how to add a sending domain inside sendmails.io. So to add your sending domains with sendmails.io, first of all, head over to the sending tab and expand it. And when you see on when you see the sending domains, click over there and it will take you to this dashboard over here. Now over here, I want to add my sending domain. So I'm going to click on plus new sending domain. And this is where I need to put my domain. So I'm going to put uh, this this domain over here which is sasperdy.com and I need to enable signing from here and then click on save that's it now we got two record two DNS record that I need to add inside my DNS zone editor so uh, it is very simple to find out your DNS zone editor no matter which hosting provider you are using you might have purchased your domain from uh, GoDaddy, Hostinger, Hostgator. So if you want to find out where is the DNS zone editor, just search for GoDaddy DNS zone editor and you will find an article on where exactly to find your DNS zone editor. Like over here you can see there is an article plus there are a couple of videos that shows you how to um, you know find your DNS zone editor in GoDaddy. So what we need to do is we need to add these records which we just saw over here inside our DNS zone editor. So I'm using Hostinger and I'm already on my DNS zone editor. So just make sure you first find out your DNS zone editor. And like I said, it's very simple to find out your DNS zone editor. Just search for your hosting provider space DNS zone editor and you'll get a step by step tutorial on the same thing. So over here I have my DNS zone editor. Now let's go back and here, the first thing that I need to add as a TXT record is email marketing dot and whatever is my domain, which is sasbody.com. And I need to put the value, right? So I need to copy this. Just make sure you're copying until only this part because dot sasbody.com, which is your domain, is going to be automatically append by your hosting provider. So I don't need to copy this part. I can only just copy this part go to my DNS zone editor, choose the TXT part and I can paste it over here. And then I go back and you know, I need to copy the value, which is this. And again, I can paste it over here, which is L, which is a TXT value. So I've just added my first record and then I need to copy and paste the second record. So it is going to be a TXT record. I'm going to switch to the TXT record and let me just copy and paste it over here so i've just added these two records successfully so now depending on your hosting provider it might take some time to reflect the changes it usually take 24 to 48 hours depending on your hosting provider so if when you click on verify now and if it doesn't work for you that means the changes has not propagated yet so just wait for some time to one to two days and come back click on verify now once again and it should work for you so as of now for hosting it, i've already added the record but let me just test it out so now here you can see uh, my changes were instantly propagated that's why it says verified but in your case it might not reflect so quickly so just have some patience come back after one to two days and once the changes are reflected, click on verify now. And once you click on sending domains, look at over here, you have your domain verification DKI and verification completed. So yeah, that's it for today. If you have any question, drop it down in the comment and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.